my man Greg Haggard. What's poppin' man? Look like you in the center of probably the biggest story of boxing right now. I don't know. That's what they're telling me. <laughs> Broner versus Ivan Radcash fell through. Yeah. So your fighter Hank Lundy yeah. accepted the fight. Yeah. So Hank Lundy, Hank Adrian Broner, February 25th. What's your thoughts, man? Why was this the right fight to take right now? It's honestly the right fight for both of them. It's the right fight for Broner because Hank is somebody he's familiar with from sparring, shit like that. Hank a little smaller. Um, and Hank, Hank could get you, Hank could get you, but if you if you could get one up on him, it'd be even better. And, he, and Hank kind of give you that 50-50 shot with his style. Mm. His style give you a 50-50 shot. 50-50 because he could make you look like shit or you could end up beating him. You know what I'm saying? Or he could make you look like shit while even still getting the win. Hank is a, is a tough fight for anybody, but if you're trying to sell a fight, that's the best fighter to go with is a guy like Hank Lundy. You know what I mean? Because Hank Lundy going to talk his shit, and he going to back it up. He going to bring everything to the table that he got. You know what I mean? Whether it's for a short night or a long night. The problem is you can't count him out because the motherfucker be in shape. The motherfucker be in shape, and he getting ready. You know what I'm saying? He not... He not and he not going to fall. No, no. Bacho, you can still do it. It, it looks all thin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It looks good to the camera. He not going, you know what I'm saying? He not the type of guy that's going to just fall. Now, why it's a good fight for Hank is because this whole thing is being built around Broner. So a, a win like this for Hank uh, uh, put his name in stone because Broner is a four-time champion. Now, Broner's obviously a bigger name. Yeah. But Hank's been more active than Hank. Right. AB's been out of the game, out of, out of the ring for what, what, two years? Almost two years? It'll be two years by the day of the fight. Yeah. So, are people sleeping on Hank in this fight? I would say most people are, but actually you can't. Like it's not, it's, because Broner, Broner is, we're not sure where Broner at in his head. We're not sure where Broner at in his career because he's not that old, but it's like, do he love it anymore? Now, Hank, he love this shit. Hank love this shit. Hank come in here and train like he's 21 years old. You know what I mean? But because of the way his career went and the, and the last, the losses stacking up on him and make it look like, ah, like, damn, Hank, you should, Hank, you should be ready to hang it up. But the, if you watch the motherfucker work out, you'll be like, damn. You know what I mean? He probably got a few more in him for sure. So... I don't know, man. It's a, it's a good fight in my eyes. Now, Hank's coming off a of decision loss to uh, highly touted prospect Shenard Bunch. Yeah. In which, kind of similar with the Tank situation where the round after Hank knocks Shenard down, yeah. a fight breaks out in the crowd that yeah. falls the fight. Yeah. What kind of Hank Lundy can we expect February 25th? I mean, it's Hank Lundy. It's like watching the Die Hard movie. You know, it's going to be action-packed. Shit gonna be crazy, you know what I'm saying? You never, you never know what to expect with Hank. As far as like you, like Hank, not the guy. Like, oh, all right, tonight he might look like Shakur. He not like that. It, that's not his style. Hank is Mr. Get Busy. Hank want to get in there and, and get it and get it going. You know what I'm saying? He want to get the lever exchange. So look for Hank to be Hank Lundy. He want to come out there and fucking rumble. He want to fight. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it go. And you going to fight. Even if you, like I said, even if you get over on Hank, you still got to go through experience real quick. There's going to be something that'll raise your heart rate real quick. He ain't going to just let you off the hook. You got to get him out. And I don't know if Bruner really got it in him to, to get Hank out of there. Is this your first pay-per-view? No. It's like third. Third? Yeah, third. I did two with Gage. Okay, the BKB? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the two a game, so. Um, I don't know. It's a good fight, though, in my eyes. I like the fight. I, as a fan, I like the fight. It's, a, it's an entertaining fight. It's one of them fights you you can't really say, like, I ain't watching that. You're crazy if you don't no, watch No, I got to watch it. Yo, bro, I'm, 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 I might slide down with you, man. Yeah. Like, bro, I go hold you. It's one of them Jones, man. It's just one of them type of fights. Like, it's going to be action. They're going to be talking this shit. You know what I mean? And you know, it is what it is. It's gonna be one of them good jumps. And like I say, you can't say no to it because Hank gonna push the action. He gonna force the fight out of Broner. So we're gonna see what really what Broner got left. You know what I'm saying? If everything go right and we and when everything go good and we make it there, fighters weigh in, make the weight, everything be cool, 
You know what I'm saying? You're going to see what uh, Broner really got left. As soon as you got the phone call, did you already start making a game plan in your head? It's always like that. <laughs> it's always like that. As soon as, you, as soon as you get a name, no matter the level, you start cooking up. You know what I mean? That's how it go. That's the game.